Previously on Cooking with Ty. Oh no, my arm fell off. The doctor said he could never get his arm back, but they gave him something better, something stronger, something... You know what, not, neither of those are true. Th they gave him this uh, thing. What even is this, uh, a bubble wand? Whoa, my arm magically grew back. Man, what a waste of money. Oh, wait a second. Can't wear the same shirt twice in a row. Um, yeah, give me a second. Hey, there we go. Yeah, it's good enough. So, my last run-in with unhealthy foods, it's, it's made me turn a new leaf. Today on Cooking with Ty, we're going to be all about healthiness. We're going to go outside in my lovely backyard, and we're going to search far and wide for, for the healthiest ingredients to make um, something. We're going to make something, and it's going to be healthy. Because healthiness matters, kids. Eat your veggies um, and stuff. My backyard is a very vast, unpredictable environment. You could find, you could find a lion, you could find a, a hyena, you could find Donald Trump. I don't, yeah, probably not. It's worth a try. All right, kids or adults, whoever's watching my content, are you ready? to embark on a vast journey to the wilderness or a journey to the vast wilderness uh, something uh, I I'm real human I speak the English alright folks make sure to remember that when you go out in dangerous environments such as this always wear proper protection uh, you never know what might happen out there that's why I've equipped my uh steel breastplate and um, a, a helmet of justice. All right, folks. This right here, this, this is nature. So it must be edible. Bon appetit, let's, let's see what nature's cooking for us today. Nature is disgusting. Absolutely terrible. I would not rec... Oh, hey, look. It's, uh... It's this. I don't know what it is, but it, uh, it's a thing. Let's cook with it. Wow. Look at that beauty. This beautiful plant right here is called a bread tree. They're very, very uncommon, but some say the bread that grows from them is unlike anything else in the world. It's this right here. This is a good find. All right, I got a good nature pun for you. What do you call? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a wild, I'm, this is not set up guys, that is a wild box of Wheaties right there. They're very docile creatures, but, oh my goodness. This is amazing, this, this is spectacular. I'm going in. Nature at its finest, my friends. All right, now this, this is truly remarkable. Right here we have an old Native American uh, house with some, what appears to be 
tomato ketchup inside. Now, um, Native Americans actually use ketchup for absolutely nothing at all. It wasn't around when they were alive. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go get that ketchup. I don't know why it's there, but we're gonna do something with it. Do you see that? Over there. That? That's a wild bottle of uh, soda. It seems to be uh, grazing on the grass, doing whatever wild bottles of soda do. Um, now, these, these animals can be very, very hostile. So we're gonna have to take it down from, from far away. Uh, kids, you might have to turn your heads. This, this is gonna get gory. Now that's what I call healthy. I just kneeled right into a pile of dog crap. Yum. Thanks, nature. It's time for nature. Yes, it's nature cooking time. All right, I got a nice bowl here. Got the ingredients. I don't know how I'm supposed to prepare this, honestly. So, uh... together taste test time Ooh. I just died a little inside what do you think of this Rexy you I don't want to look at that time listen to me the creature in that bowl is a terrible, disgusting excuse for a meal. It is, Rex. It is. Please get rid of it. Rex, you want to go inside and, and watch a movie or something? What's your favorite movie, Rex? Fifty Shades of I mean Lilo and Stitch. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's go watch Lilo and Stitch, Rex. Pal, I'm more of a a food fight fan if I do say so for myself though. <laughs> 